So let's talk prize winners, video projects and upcoming future news and what's going to be coming next on the channel in October. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics for another quick channel update video where we'll just take a quick look back on the videos of the month, what's likely to be coming on the channel in the next few weeks or so and talk about things like giveaway winners and Patreon polls and things like that. As it goes, it's been another very busy month on the channel. It seems that with the Votan Codex coming out and a fair bit else happening besides, it's been a bit of a heavy month on the publishing. I think I've released around about 60 to 70 videos over the last 30 days or so, averaging over two a day. It has been pretty good fun though, always good when there's plenty of Warhammer things to be talking about. As always, an absolutely enormous thank you to all of you guys who are watching, commenting and supporting. Consider this my monthly thank you that you guys are allowing me to talk about model soldiers as my main job. Over the last month or so, the leagues of Votan have been the main news. Very exciting to have a complete new faction to the game of 40k. A big release with a lot of interesting combos to analyse, though of course it has been a fairly dramatic one. Looking pretty overtuned, at least in my opinion, and the opinions of quite a few, to the extent where Games Workshop seem to agree and nerf them pretty hard before most of their models have been on sale. It'd be interesting to see how they start doing when they do start to hit the tournament scene. I did make a bit of an updated video on the Votan with the strengths and weaknesses of each of the units, and that one's there just to summarise some thoughts as to how the models might do after the nerf. Otherwise, I've still had chance for some fun projects. That short summary of that guy moves in Warhammer 40k seemed to do rather well. And another one that I enjoyed making that not that many people found was a bit of an overview of ally and chaos demons to other chaos lists. Feel free to give that one a search if you're interested. I feel like perhaps a bit more thought went into that than normal. Obviously, it's a bit of a niche topic though. Otherwise, I had that Patreon poll at the start of the month asking you which faction overview videos you wanted next. We did the Death Guard and the Necron ones within the month. Hopefully, I'll be aiming to tick off a few more as we'll talk about in a second. Finally, for over this month, I did have my experiment with shorts videos. I was trying to challenge myself to see if I could release one every single day for a month, but unfortunately I just really couldn't hack the pace of them on top of all the normal content. I think it was just as much the headspace that it takes up to create a different video series running in parallel. And while as videos they were doing okay, I'm just not entirely sure they were worth the time and effort dedicated for driving the channel forwards. Plus I do have some small concerns about how they might affect the YouTube algorithm, maybe trying to give people two very different types of content, and there might not be all that much overlap. Not saying that I might not experiment with them again sometime in the future. The ones that I made were mainly a few short unit overviews, a bit of lore, modelling and gameplay condensed into a minute. Otherwise, for videos coming up on the channel, it looks like there should be some Warhammer news coming in the not too distant future. Games Workshop, of course, have their big 40k focus Warhammer Day preview on the 8th. I've got no doubt we'll have some very interesting and juicy details from that one. Hopefully we're going to see a lot more of the new Imperial Guard, and probably some World Eaters too, maybe more besides. I'll be covering that in a short update just after the stream finishes. I also noticed that we're overdue a balanced data slate currently. They usually aim to release them quarterly and now it's October. That would mean that the next one could be sometime soon. I think people were suspecting that they'd wait until after the London Grand Tournament. So there's every chance that it could be either today or later in the week. I wouldn't expect any major radical changes to 40k. Seeing as in general game balance hasn't been doing too terrible right now, at least in my opinion. But that's not to say that there aren't a decent amount of armies that could really use a boost. Otherwise, for future projects on the channel, I've made a Ranking Every Combat Patrol video. That one's already up for early viewing for channel patrons as well. If you do happen to be supporting the channel over there, feel free to check it out. And in terms of more core tactics type content, there's a Dark Angels Codex tier list coming, Adeptus Custodes in 9th edition, a tier ranking of the Space Marine chapters, and plenty more. As always on the channel, I'll try and keep the interesting 40k content coming just as often as I can. Moving on and let's talk giveaways. I can now officially announce that the winners of the October giveaway for three copies of that Leagues of Votan box set, the winners are Henry Martin, DJ Warren Tesnow, and someone going by the name of Athenius. I've also messaged you all to follow up. The boxes are already with me, so all you need to do is let me know a shipping address and I'll have them in the post. Again, on the Facebook page, we have had a few issues with scammers trying to message people, telling them that they've won and to ask for their credit card details in some form. It spammed out a few more messages this time, but with people reporting them to me quite quickly, I was able to squash them quite fast. With a bunch of people reporting the accounts, it looks like Facebook themselves managed to take one of them down, and I've been trying to ban a bunch of others off the post. I'm not sure if we might need to redesign the Facebook entry a little bit, but obviously it just about goes without saying. If you get a message with a dodgy account with the channel logo and asking for your credit card details, that's not me. I don't need your credit card details to post you a box. 
In any case, I'll have them out in the post shortly. But for the November giveaway, we're going to be doing something rather nightly. And this one was an idea that I had a little while back, doing a channel giveaway for basically a small Imperial Knight army, two households of three knights to a couple of lucky winners. The way that this one will work for the November giveaway is this. If you're one of the two winners, you get to pick any three Games Workshop Knights, either Chaos or Imperial. Though we are sticking to the plastic ones here, as Forge World is mad pricing. They can be any three combination though, as to include Dominus Knights, Abominants, or Preceptors and things. And to add a little bit of flexibility, any one knight can be swapped out for either four Armagers or War Dogs. So you could say have one big knight and eight Armagers if you wanted. I feel like that way you could get really quite a nice customised army of either Chaos or Imperial Knights, as it goes through a fairly easy faction to jump into, and that should grant you a playable army at somewhere around 13 to 1800 points straight out of the boxes. As always with the channel giveaways, there's two different ways to enter, both of them equal, and links down in the video description. Either you can support the channel on Patreon for any amount a month, it is what keeps the channel going and the videos coming, or you can support on social media for free, basically subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page, and then you actually enter the draw on the 1st of November on a Facebook post that appears there. To enter, you post a photo of a 40k miniature or any imagery with your name and the date handwritten within the photo to stop people spamming. From there, I put all the Patreon and Facebook entries into a random number generator, pick out two winners, and they'll be announced on a channel update video on the 4th of the month. Before that time, definitely don't give your credit card details to anyone trying to impersonate me. In any case though, there'll be further giveaways similar to this every single month. Maybe we could do something Christmas Battle Force box related for the December one perhaps. Finally, as a few people asked in the last channel update, here are the results for that Patreon poll that we did last month. I basically asked you for a few ideas for what you'd like to see an army overview of next. Death Guard and Necrons were the favourites by far. Both of those got made. And as I was feeling inspired, I also got round to the Tyranids and Harlequins ones too. Adeptus Custodes, the slides are made and I shall be recording them later. Craft Worlds was another high voted one, and I'll get round to them when I can. I did make a strengths and weaknesses of every unit video kind of recently, so that might be helpful to some. And Guard, I will get to if I get motivation, though with a new codex in the works very shortly, it might be a little bit of a redundant one. Still could be kind of interesting to explore though, even if it's potentially only relevant for a few months. Otherwise, I'll certainly try and cover most of the rest, and let me know any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see in the channel down in the comments below. If you do want to vote in the occasional polls like this, feel free to check out the Patreon page in the video description, as well as that it gives you entry to the giveaways automatically. You get to see certain videos early, such as the Combat Patrol box one. You can get your name in the credits, and certain other things like a Discord role and more. Check out the link below if you're interested in any of that, or just want to help support the videos on the channel. So with that done then, that just about wraps us up the channel update for the month. As always, any other thoughts, feedback or requests are greatly appreciated. I'll certainly read every single comment on this video, even if I do only reply to a select few. In any case, I'm certainly looking forward to making plenty more videos for the 41st millennium over the next month or so, and I'll hope to see you guys in future videos.